The button has been pressed. Hello, haters! Today I will introduce you to one of famous Russian traditions. Everybody is celebrating a holiday called Old New Year. Why is it called this way? Basically, it's time to say bye to 2017, like in the rest of the world everybody already did. But in Russia, we can't really acknowledge the fact that 2017 has left. So we have a special day, which is January 13th to January 14th in the night, where we are supposed to celebrate Old New Year. It's being widely celebrated in some other places too. For example, it's pretty popular in Balkans, in Serbia especially, because it's like an Orthodox holiday, but also people celebrate it even in Switzerland, Scotland, Jordan. So the list of the countries is quite big. If you come from one of the countries where you're familiar with Old New Year, please comment. I'm super curious to know. For the Old New Year, the family gathers together and we cook special food. The special food is called vareniki. Varite in Russian means to boil. In a nutshell, it's very similar to pelmeni. It's pockets of dough filled with different fillings. So in pelmeni you normally put meat, but here you have to put potato or you can also put cherry, which are my favorite and they're so delicious, must try. But the most exciting part is that sometimes we do vareniki with surprises. I thought that this is a common thing all around Russia. Then I met people from different cities and they were like, what are kind of surprises you're talking about? We have no idea. So I realized that it's only being done in my region. I come from the city called Rostov and Don. So people from Rostov and Don like surprises, that's for sure. You can put different feelings, I mentioned that. But aside from that, you can also put fun surprises, and each of them has a meaning. So we're a very superstitious nation, most likely, but a lot of people do believe that whatever feeling they get, that's how their year will go. And now I'm at home waiting for my friend from Australia, who is about to come, and I'm already boiling water, and I'm ready to cook some vareniki and see what am I gonna get. Are you excited as I am? I was feeling so homesick and having this uh, sweet little treat makes me so, so happy. Here is the boiling water and here are vareniki. Da -da -da -da. I wish I could do that uh, close up. Oh, I can do, but there is no dramatic music like on Instagram, sadly. Oh well, uh, yeah. So now one by one, I will start putting them in the boiling water. Let's do it, babies. Please be delicious and bring me some good luck this year. I'm hoping, yeah, yeah. While I'm in the kitchen cooking, I also want to tell you the story of how did I get this vareniki. I was working and I was really not feeling like cooking and it takes some time, especially with the feelings. So I posted a message on a group, something like Russians living in Spain. <laughs> And so I asked, uh, can somebody recommend me any Russian restaurants where I can get vareniki because I'm feeling very homesick. Sometimes there is nothing better than some comfort food, especially that comes from home. And to my surprise, there was this Russian lady who said, well, I'm cooking some for myself. If you don't mind coming and picking them up, you can just meet me by the metro and I'll cook some vareniki for you. And I couldn't believe it. And it was so kind of her and it really made me feel like I'm at home. What was also curious is that a lot of Russian speakers had no idea about the feelings that you can do vareniki with surprises. Plenty of comments where people were just like, wow, this is such a cool idea, we will try doing this. And I believe in small magic. I believe that we are creators of our own lives. And people who are complaining about routine, about how bad their life is, I mean, everything is in your hands. Sometimes magic is not anything complicated. You can create magic yourself. I'm boiling my magic and uh, soon uh, me and my friend we will open our vareniki. I have Rachel here who comes from Australia and I have lovely wine but most importantly we have our vareniki. It's me in my pajama and yes we just boiled them and some of them are with surprises some of them are not but we're really curious to see what are they going to have inside. <laughs> it's a surprise for both of us because it wasn't me who cooked it so I have no clue what's inside. So the first dumpling that I got has pepper inside which stands for disappointment which I hope I'm gonna avoid. I don't want any disappointment. 
What have you got? Rachel is trying her first. This is definitely potato. Potato? Mm -hmm. Oh, just potato? Yeah. Like, be careful. Maybe there is something inside. Yeah, it looks like there's something here. Ooh. Oh, okay. So that means you're gonna have a travel. I'm gonna travel? Yeah, it oh. means travel. A thread. Thread. So you got Ooh. a thread and it stands for the travel. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Yay, so nice. Yay, I'm gonna travel. <laughs> yeah, great. She just got the leaf, which stands for career growth. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Rachel just got orange, which means joy, eternal joy. <laughs> and I just got, this is a bean, and it means pregnancy. And I, I highly hope that it's not gonna happen this year. Okay, guys, so this is getting out of hand because I just got another bean in my plate. So that means I'm gonna have two babies this year. Okay, I don't believe my Russian traditions anymore. What have you got? I'm not sure. What's this look like? I think it's pepper or maybe mushroom. Mushroom. We have to look up what mushroom means. Okay. You have to keep eating. I hope it's eatable. Some of the things are not eatable. Like getting a button is not eatable at all. So, As you can see, I'm super sleepy after all the food that I have eaten. It was amazing. I hope you enjoyed learning more about fun Russian tradition that we have. I'm waiting for your comments and maybe some suggestions. What are you interested to watch in the upcoming vlogs? And yeah, yo copycat, subscribe to my channel.